Adverbs. Adverbs are words that modify or describe adjectives, verbs, and other adverbs. There are eight different categories of adverbs in English, which are adverbs of frequency, place, time, manner, degree, sentence, relative, and interrogative adverbs. Adverbs of frequency. We use adverbs of frequency to express how frequently we, or objects, do something. The adverb always goes after the subject and before the ordinary verb. When using auxiliary or model auxiliary verbs, be, do, can, may, should, etc., the adverb goes after the auxiliary verb, not before it. Do you often go cycling? Yes, I always go cycling. I love cycling. And it's scientifically proven to be beneficial to your personal well-being and fitness. Interesting. I don't normally cycle, but my wife, Suzanne, frequently takes her bike to the mountains to go cycling. She never wears a helmet, though, which I think is very dangerous. Yeah, that's a pity. She should really wear a helmet because it's very unsafe, especially when cars are constantly passing you. I agree. I guess for some people, wearing a helmet is just a pain. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Okay, bye. Analysis 1. Do you often go? The adverb is often, so it goes after the auxiliary verb do, and before the ordinary verb go. 2. I always go. Go is an ordinary verb, so the adverb of frequency always goes before it. 3. I don't normally cycle. Normally is the adverb of frequency. So it goes after the auxiliary verb do and before the ordinary verb cycle. 4. The comma is used before the conjunction but to represent the pause when speaking. Frequently. This adverb goes before the ordinary verb takes. 6. The negative prefix un makes the negative adjective safe negative. 7. Are constantly passing. The adverb of frequency, constantly, goes before the ordinary verb, passing, and after the auxiliary verb, are, from be. 8. To catch someone later. Simply means to see someone at another time. Adverbs of place. Adverbs of place tell us where an action has happened. There are many, many adverbs of place, and they can also function as prepositions. Remember, adverbs modify adjectives, verbs, and other adverbs. Hey, have you seen my brother, Jacob? Yes, I think he's below in the basement. Okay, thanks. I'll go take a look now. Hello, Jacob. Hi, I'm here. Can you see me? Oh, yes. Now I can see you. I just wanted to see if you were indoors. Don't worry. I haven't gone far. What's the problem? Well, now that I see you're indoors, would you be able to come upstairs and help me for a second? Sure. No problem. Thanks. Don't worry. Afterwards, you can go back downstairs. Catch you later. Analysis 1. He's below. The adverb below modifies the verb to express where he is. 2. I'll is the contracted form of the model auxiliary verb will. Remember, we use will when we want to express an immediate, positive reaction, something that you're going to do in the moment of speaking. 3. Hair 
is an adverb of place to express where the speaker is. Four, I just want it. We use just in English as a way of being polite or to justify our actions. Five, indoors is an adverb of place to show where the speaker is. Six, downstairs, adverb of place to express where the speaker is. Adverbs of time. Adverbs of time tell us when something happens. Adverbs of time are a reference to time. We usually insert adverbs of time at the end or before the sentence. There are many, many adverbs of time. Hey, Susanna, are you going out tonight? I don't think so. I'm still hungover from last night. What about tomorrow or Saturday? Okay, it's definitely possible. I'm sorry you're so hungover. You really shouldn't party so hard. I know. I'm a sucker for the partying. I wish I could be more responsible. It's also very expensive. The other night, I spent over $80. $80? On what exactly? I had to catch a taxi, drink, everything. Goodness, I haven't partied as hard as you since I was 25. I guess you're just getting too old for it these days then, aren't you? I guess I am. I'll catch you later. Bye. Analysis. Tonight. An adverb of time. Two. Hungover. An adjective, meaning still a little drunk or worn out from the previous night's drinking. 3. Tomorrow. An adverb of time. 4. Saturday. An adverb of time. Days of the week are always capitalized in English. Monday, Tuesday, etc. 5. To be a sucker. A colloquial way of saying that someone always ends up in the same situation, good or bad. 6. For the partying. Partying functions as a noun or nominal object because it's the object in the sentence. We can use gerund forms, verb plus ing, as nouns, either as subjects or objects in English. 7. Catch a taxi. This is the general expression we use when catching a taxi. 8. As hard as. The construction as plus adjective plus as is a comparative used in English to make two things equal, i.e. Sarah is as nice as me. 9. I guess you're... aren't you? This is a construction in English called a question tag. 10. I'll catch you later. Remember, we use the future simple, will, for instant, immediate, and positive reactions, i.e. things that we're going to do right in the moment.